Hello, welcome to another episode of Smashy Reviews. I am Smashy, and today I will be reviewing Jigsaw. Before I get into it, as always, I need to remind you there are spoilers in this video, so um, if you haven't watched the movie, turn back before it's too late, or just skip to the end of the video, whichever works for you. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I have certain things that I look for in a horror movie. Uh, plot set gore, acting dialogue and score, in no particular order. Um, with that being said, let's get into it. Starting off, this movie was directed by the Spirit Brothers. Uh, it stars Matt Passmore, Callum Keith Rennie, Clay Bennett, Hannah Emily Anderson, Laura Vandervoort, and Tobin Bell. Uh, it was released October 27th, 2017, and it is the eighth installment to the Saw franchise. Summary. When bodies start turning up around the city, each one was met with it has met a unique gruesome demise. As an investigation uh, begins and continues, evidence points to one suspect, John Kramer, also known as the Jigsaw Killer, who has been dead for over 10 years. Um, so while the police are investigating, five people are playing the game, who get revealed as Mitch, Carly, Ryan, Anna, and the fifth person's name I will talk about in a bit. Of course, with it being a Saw film, I will be discussing the gore and the traps first, because they were both pretty cool. Um, we see Halloran, the cop, get his head sliced with a bunch of lasers. Mitch got sliced up in a cool looking trap and acid burned half of Carly's face off. Ryan and Anna I will discuss later as well. Um, the gore for each scene was perfectly executed. I mean well done to the makeup and special effects people. Really nailed it. Beautiful. Beautiful work. I love the Saw franchise and I have my fair share of favorite traps uh, from each movie. In this movie I really liked the cycle trap and the grain silo trap. I'll leave links to them down below, but these two, especially the cycle trap, the cycle trap had me amazed. The grain silo trap started off as grain and then it stopped for a second before knives like and blades just like started falling from the grain chute. Now the cycle trap. That scene was just amazing. The score was off the chain, the trap itself was fantastic. Mitch sadly succumbed to the trap, but it's, it was pretty cool to watch. The plot was interesting, uh, it kept me intrigued if there was a twist, because there's always a twist in the Saw films at the end. Um, we find out that the fifth dude, who supposedly died in the beginning of the film, was actually Logan, the mortician who we see later on in the movie, and he was saved by John himself, and it eventually reveals that the game we see the other people playing, the game Logan was a part of, was played ten years ago, and that, basic, and that Logan basically recreated the deaths with the criminals Halloran, the cop, let walk free, and he was going to use that to frame Halloran. Um, it's definitely a mindfuck. Definitely a mindfuck. Especially when we see John on screen. You're seeing him and you're just like, what the shit. But it later reveals that he just was just there years ago before his death. The set was alright. We know the game is taking place in a... We know the game is taking place in a barn on a farm of some sort, which was later revealed to have been owned by Jill Tuck, the ex-wife of John, before it was shut down due to an outbreak of a pig disease. And who could forget the newest edition of Billy the Puppet? I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Pure freaking amazing. Billy the Puppet 2.0. Hell yeah. The design put into the traps was pretty cool, I think. Maybe not so much effort on the chain hanging scene, which is where Carly met her end. Um, it was still cool, but I think it could have been better. The acting and dialogue was pretty good as well. It's not every day you find a new horror movie with good dialogue and acting. Uh, the scene I really love is where Logan is telling Howler what actually happened and how he became basically Jigsaw's first apprentice. I thought that scene was really well acted to be honest. Going back to the plot for a minute, uh, these four characters that we meet in the beginning, Carly, Ryan, Mitch, and Anna, Logan excluded. 
um, they all have some kind of messed up backstory. And what Jigsaw wants them to do is confess what they did wrong. Well, we find out that Carly stole purses, and she stole one from a woman who then suffered, I guess, from a heart attack um, while trying to chase down Carly. Carly ended up dead through acid injection, accidental acid injection. Um, Mitch sold John's nephew a motorcycle, knowing that the brakes were faulty and it resulted in his nephew's death. Mitch met his end in the cycle trap previously stated. Anna was, uh, Anna killed her own baby because it was crying too much. Uh, it wouldn't shut up. Uh, then she framed it on her husband, like pulled, put it on her husband by putting the baby's body next to him while he was sleeping. He committed suicide out of guilt. Anna and Ryan were actually in the same room when they both pretty much met their end. Ryan accidentally caused the deaths of his friends and then lied about it. When John uh, places a gun on the stand and tells them it's the key to their escape, that they've been they've been doing it all backwards, Anna grabs it and tries to shoot Ryan, only to kill herself as the shell had the keys to their foot chains in them. So she dies and Ryan pretty much dies as well with his foot chained up to a wall. Shithole 2.0, anybody? No? Okay. Finally, finally, finally! The score! It's ominous yet action-y, and I like it. After listening to it separately, it gave me more chills than it did in the movie. Um, the Cycle Trap score is, like, fucking fantastic, I think. And I think I've already said that before. It was just perfect for that scene. Like, absolutely fucking fantastic. Love it. Charlie Clouser did a really amazing job on this soundtrack. I, I praise you, Charlie. You are fucking great. Um, I'll leave that. I'll leave a link down to that uh, down below as well. Um, it even had some of the old music from the other movies in it. Uh, with the replica layer scene, it had the layer score. Uh, I'll put links to all of them down below if you're not familiar with them. Hello, Zep, or Zep8 sounds different, a little bit redone, but it sounds absolutely killer. I, I like it. Hello Zep happens to be the theme to Saw. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll put a link down below as well. Um, Alright, well that's all I got on this movie. Thank you so much for watching and for being patient. Uh, if you have made it this far, leave a like and a comment down below telling me what you thought of the movie. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, since it's October, expect all horror-related movies for how for the entirety of this month. And since Halloween falls on a Wednesday, I'll have a surprise review for that day. So, as always, I'm Smashy. See y'all soon.